what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right. We are back with the hoster with the moster. It's entertainment critic Ryan J. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. I have been super excited about some of these things you're going to talk about today. Um, and a lot of people want, this is the time of year, we enjoy going inside for movies and kind of cozying up at home a little more. So I'm excited you're going to break down some of these good ones for the weekend, right? That's right. Okay. Let's start with the one everybody's talking about. We've been teasing Violent Night, rated R in theaters. It is. And this stars David Harbour, who we love as Hopper in Stranger Things. He plays plays a curmudgeonly bitter, burned out Santa Claus. I actually caught up with him about this film. Take a look. I see you are a fan of The Wizard of Oz. Why do you say that? <laughs> Daddy said you were very busy tonight. <laughs> The fights are wonderful. How intense was the choreography? How much rehearsal did you have to do? I trained for like two months. It was very intense. I'm not a young man, so my knees and my hips were very <laughs> upset with me. But those guys are the best in the world. I mean, they're working on the stuff they work on, the John Wick movies and Tom Blonde, Nobody, the Matrix movie. It's always a joy to work with people that are so high caliber and to know that what you're doing is going to be amazing but it was exhausting as hell. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do most of the work. The movie totally delivers on violence in the title, but it's still also a completely feel-good holiday film. What was the challenge in striking that balance? It's very well observed. That was exactly what we wanted to do. And in fact, I knew that the action and the humor would take care of itself, but me and the director were constantly coming back to, is it really Santa Claus? Maybe it was Santa Claus. I mean, like, that is what I wanted to happen. Even with blood dripping off people's faces, I still want to have the true meaning of Christmas. You go on this wild, violent, funny ride, but at the end of the movie, I really want you to walk out of this movie like, ah, oh, the true meaning of Christmas. Come on. Which one of you did that? Prancer! <laughs> <laughs> it's as funny as it is bloody and you know how many we don't get many r-rated holiday movies so see it it's really it fun doesn't one. ruin the magic of christmas not at all not okay. at all it's equal parts it's very all right good. there yeah. we go let's just see it the next <clears throat> one skin deep formulating a legacy this is on demand digital this is and this is a documentary about vincenzo spinato who i got the pleasure to meet in june at the red carpet unveiling of the judy garland fragrance Aww. he created that and he's fantastic and this documentary is really interesting because it goes behind the scenes of all of the things that he creates. Oh, okay. This is beautiful, too. The mm -hmm. lighting here. Did you learn a lot about the biz? You really do. And what's amazing is there aren't many people like him. And you know how there's so many like celebrity fragrances out there that they kind of just put their names on? This yes. is the guy that's like behind all that magic. And oh. he's done so many. I mean, more than you can count almost every celebrity fragrance you could think of. He does very high-end, incredible products of his own involving caviar and diamonds. And, and I love this story because of how personal it gets. Okay, that's good. So I like the fact that it's personal because I think when you're watching a documentary, you want like an inside look. It really is. And it's inspirational because there's so many hardships that he went through that he overcame and so many other people might have given up mm -hmm. where he continued to go on and I was just so moved by his story and how he persevered and see stream it okay. because it's available to stream I loved him I love his work that he's doing he's continuing to do really impressive cool work oh I love that mm -hmm. that's a cool story too yeah. and you have a giveaway I do well you know he has his book my pursuit of beauty also I was I gave away earlier in the year mm -hmm. the 100 birthday bottle for Judy they now came out with a travel size this is separate you can purchase a collector's box oh. it is actually signed by uh, Lorna and and Liza, but I'm giving away the full wow. size new bottle. Oh. This is hand blown glass in from Italy. This is the actual Judy Garland it's bottle. Beautiful. It's you know colored like the ruby slippers. The shape is similar to her work in, in Get Happy and uh, the dance that she does. And you know, this is that unisex it's fragrance. It. Absolutely. It's that unisex. You wore it. Yeah, and whenever I wear it, I have so many Oz friends and Judy friends who wear oh, it. Oh, I like this. And it's you know how sometimes fragrances change on different people oh, because of the oils in their skin? Yeah. This is the one fragrance that universally smells good on everyone. And every male and female that wears it gets compliments on it. Yeah, that's beautiful. It is. It's available at judygarlandfragrance.com but you okay. can enter to win a bottle right now on my website, ryanjreviews.com. You'll love it. All right, we got less than a minute left, so let's go through this. His Dark Materials, HBO Max. Right, this is season three, and this is based on my favorite uh, book series. I like even more than Harry Potter, His Dark Materials. Oh. It was The Golden Compass, Amber Spyglass. Now, 
uh, the Amber Spy Subtle Knife, Amber Spyglass is the hardest one to adapt. We've got James McAvoy and Ruth Wilson, Daphne Keene, newcomer Jamie Ward, who's really sinister and, and cool in this, right? Those are their souls outside of their bodies that oh, take cool. form in animals. It's a fantasy action adventure. And this third season, if you read the book, it's like how they adapt it. It's brilliant. I loved it. And so stream it on HBO Max. I want to see that. That's his you dark materials. Okay, yes. the last one, Mr. Saturday Night, Broadway HD. This is Billy Crystal's Broadway musical that debuted in April on Broadway, oh. based on his 19th 1992 directorial di directorial film debut. Okay, um, Mr. Saturday Night, and here he is on Broadway. It ran for four months. It was nominated for five Tonys. It co-stars uh, Randy Graff, who was the original Fantine on Broadway in Les Mis. Ooh, She's the one that Les you hear Mis on the score right now. Mm -hmm. Shoshana Bean, uh, who who Andrew Varela worked with in yeah. Beaches, and she was the first Alphabet replacement. And uh, it's so great. You can stream this on Broadway HD. How often do you get to stream a Broadway show that yeah. ran this year on Broadway? That's really cool, actually. It's a mm -hmm. reason to get the streaming Definitely. service for that one. All right, thanks, Ryan. Thank you too. All right. You can follow Ryan J on social media at Ryan J Reviews and for his full entertainment reviews, check out his website. It's RyanJReviews.com.